6.15. And now it's time for us to pack up and leave Missouri. Another eight hour drive. Ugh. a bit of a hard day for me driving um i try to do like the bulk of the driving because jody uh works on the road and which is usually just fine but i've had like multiple eight hour days now and i'm just, i'm like stressed i'm stressed out by the trucks and traffic and small towns and just it it's just taking a wear on me today so we had to, we just stopped, like, I don't know, it feels like it was like 30 minutes ago for everyone to go to the bathroom, and then now, of course, um, Tegan has to go to the bathroom again, and so we have to stop again, and so luckily, Jody's just gonna take over driving. I'm glad, because I just can't, I just can't, I'm so, I'm just, oh, it's been hard. It was a long day today. I'm doing better now. I cried. I couldn't even handle it anymore. And Jody was like, I think you're done for the day. And I was like, I think so do. But this campground is super cool. It's beautiful. So we're at the Clouded Canyon State Park um, in Georgia. So c close to Trenton. Um, Trenton, Georgia. So just really close to the border between Tennessee and Georgia. It has a whole area dedicated to mountain bikes, um, different levels. So they do green, blue, black, um, which is awesome. I'm so excited we brought so our bikes. So exciting. Jody just asked Rylan, like, do you want to go bike riding? And she's like, meh, maybe. They found a stream and that's really all they care about. That's all they care about ever. It's like water. <laughs> it's good. I it's good. guess. But now I'm just trying to convince Kristen to make dinner. <laughs> she doesn't want to other than just drink our wine. I just want to drink my wine and sit here. I wish there was like another Ami out there to make dinner. I don't want to. <laughs> I can, I guess. Um, oh, that was convincing. <laughs> Today on Kristen's kitchen, we're going to make chili and some cornbread patties because I forgot ingredients to make cornbread. You know how on cooking shows they like measure everything out and then they're like, and just a dash of, I didn't do that. So you're just getting the real thing, okay? So a third a cup of cheese, we're just gonna just put a little of that in there. We'll put our corn mix in there. Oh, gosh, everything's fine. It's going great. It's going great. I'm doing good. Are you doing good? That's all that counts, is that we're all doing good. Okay, all right, so now I need some salt. I realize you can't see what I'm doing because I can't figure that out either. It's fine. Yeah, I think we're okay. I just wanna make some patties. 
That might have been a little, might have gone a little overboard on the water. All of it was irritating me for a second. Okay, I think they're doing pretty good. They're like little pancake things. So yeah, we'll have to see. I'll show you what they look like inside. Okay, how do we do? Good. Did good. Yeah? Yeah, these are really good. So not bad. I did like some some mixed corn and I did that um made a couple of adjustments, but they're pretty good. She makes the best chili ever. She's the best. Thanks, buddy. more part. You guys hooking yourself up with some s'more yeah. stuff? Yes. I mean, why wait? So, you guys like marshmallows? Cause I love marshmallows. Do you like having campfires? Cause I love having campfires. Especially when it doesn't have smoke. Okay. So this campfire actually runs on gas. It gives off great heat and you can choose how high or low you want it. And um, it also has no smoke or sparks, so it's, it's a pretty good fire. As my West Coast friends know from Colorado, Arizona, California, I think Oregon even lit on fire this year. We switched over to a gas fire pit that takes, uses our propane so we can actually hook it right up into our trailer and we can use it even in no burn zones um because it is like a grill basically it puts off awesome heat um, no sparks no wood no smoke which is really awesome for our kiddos and no who both have lung stuff did you hear her Wait. and no what right management and no management yeah, so I had like a tick, like, I don't know, right here maybe? On your neck line. My neck. It was just like, crawling, it wasn't my hair. Her It, like, but as soon as she said I had one on, she I, it was like, ears too. oh jeez, yeah. oh jeez, I have one on me, I have one on me. But like, it was weird because I didn't feel it at all until she said, oh, we got one. And I'm like, ah! Hi, you guys ready? Just a little piece of joy in the back seats. It's cold. Yeah, it's cold. super cold. Excuse us, people. Who stops in the middle of the trail? She's following us now.
pick a snack. Why wouldn't he eat snacks? He he can't put them in his mouth. He he where does this? He it, eats like a squirrel. He, yeah, he does. You should see him eat goldfish. It's like I don't even know how you got that one goldfish. It's a true story because a goldfish fits entirely in your mouth, but Tegan will like he'll bite it up into little like crumbs and eat it, but not even half of the crumbs get in his mouth. So we're working on the leave no trace. So we are at the falls and we are choosing to walk back instead of uh, driving back. So here we go. Here we go. Ami and Tegan are gonna drive the car back big loop back to the west loop and we are going to take the connector trail. We made it. Look, there's Tegan as proof that we made it. Yeah. Rylan, what'd you think? It was really fun actually. <sighs> it's kind of rainy and cold out, which is fine. This is why one of the things I love about our camper. Uh, two TVs. Yeah. Yes. When we first got it, I was like, we have two TVs. Why? Like, that's as many as we have in our house. But it allows us to close the door and get some space. So the yeah. kids are watching Night at that Museum and we get to watch our movies. Okay. We're going to head over to Chattanooga today. We're Rock go City. Well, yeah, isn't that close to Chattanooga? Mm -hmm. We're gonna go. I was just specifying. <laughs> we're gonna go check out Rock City and we're gonna go um, find some good place to eat. And if we need light, I've got a glow stick. Oh, I've got good. Me a glow stick. It's always good. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. hi. Thanks for joining us. I was wondering, it kind of looks like we see a lot of rocks. So this I, is think, gonna be I think it's gonna be like a really cool botanical gardens. I mean, you have to buy tickets to get in. But we're coming in the winter and no trees have started budding. So it should be spectacular. I don't know. We gotta like keep our minds open. It might be like, do you remember Rock City? Holy cow. That was amazing. I don't know. Huh? The jury's still out. Is it a zoo? I don't know. Is it an amusement park? Jody's thinking, please don't stop. Please don't stop. <laughs> just just keep walking. <laughs> That's what that rock's called behind us. Mushroom rock. Does it it looks just like a mushroom. Tegan, is this not the best time of your life? No. Tegan! So we've concluded it's like a botanical garden. It's actually quite cool. Yeah, it used to be someone's house, which would be super cool. Let's go play in my backyard. Yeah, yeah, this is really, really neat. It's kind of, it's kind of enchanted. Sorry, we're just trying to get right away from all the people. Okay, bye. Yeah. Turns out it's kind of like a botanical gardens. 
Yeah, it has lots of different kinds of trees and plants and then a path that kind of winds around in and around big boulders and under them and through them um, and rock um, pathways and arches and lots of um, yeah. viewpoints. Yeah, stone bridges and slot canyons. <gasps> It was really cool. Oh, the suspension bridge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That Nancy was... were walking in sync so <laughs> you could bounce the bridge more because she was freaking out. <laughs> it was a little nervous, you know? Like, do you take care of it? But it didn't break. It was rusty. It and was a, a little rusty. Like they were but super cool. Off. If you are going to go, I think the best time to go would be in the spring when everything is blooming. I think it looks spectacular. And also, I would suggest avoiding a weekend. It was really busy. It was crowded. On a rainy day. So I could it, only imagine it, it did. It kind of felt like we were hiking in a line. Tegan, what did you think? Oh, I thought it was amazing. Y yeah. It, it was so cool. I loved how they designed it and everything. Don't you wish that was your backyard? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'd be cool. Went to Rock City this morning. Um, kind of an unexpected surprise. We also got to drive right by my brother's um, college. So that was kind of fun. Um, but, yeah, so we got back, and it's just, oh, just rainy, drizzly. And so great day to do some laundry. So I left Jody at the laundry room here to get some laundry done. And then we are going to cozy on down to change the sheets, get our camper cleaned up, because um, we head out tomorrow.